Okay, I see we are on the hour, so I'm going to go ahead and get uh, started. So welcome everyone to the uh, PeopleOps functional group update. Uh, and I've realized I haven't got the presentation open, so just one second. And then we'll go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Um, Hopefully everybody can see this. I'm gonna press the present button so my screen is gonna get really, really big. Um, but if you have any questions, please go ahead and post them in the chat. And one of my glamorous colleagues in the PeopleOps team will be very happy to answer them as we go. If not, there'll be time uh, at the end uh, for questions. So here we go. Um, so, Wanted to start off by introducing ourselves. Um, there's gonna be multiple speakers, not just me. Um, we're all of us are gonna um, tell you a little bit about what we do um, and I'll start uh, first of all. So I'm Abby and I'm the People Ops Generalist. And some of the things that I get involved with are um, international um, things. So I look after the UK, the Netherlands, um, and all the other countries that GitLab has um, either an entity or a co-employer relationship. Um, I support that, as well as getting involved with um, payroll benefits. I do a little bit of hiring. Um, I'm helping out with some of the screening calls at the moment, which I really love. Um, also, I've kicked off the management workshops um, that we've just started to run, and the next one is tomorrow, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, and my title, the clue, is in the name, the generalist. I do get involved in pretty much everything um, to do with people and I really enjoy it, and uh, also supporting the rest of the People Ops team as well. And Chloe, you're up next. Hey everyone, um, I'm Chloe, People Ops admin. Um, so most of my responsibility lies in um, applicants and new hires. So when people apply, I you know, look at their resume, um, send out communications, schedule interviews, um, and then I've recently started screening them, thanks to Sasha training me. Um, and then once somebody joins, I'll prepare their contract, um, do a background check if necessary, and then the onboarding issue. And then beyond that, pretty much wherever I can help, I try to jump in, um, you know, help the team, um, help GitLab team, um, just the people ops team, wherever. I can help. So um, that's about it for me. Uh, on to Sasha. So I'm Sasha. I'm the global recruiter or just recruiter. Um, I do applicant management. So really full cycle recruiting from sourcing to hire. Um, I work very closely with Chloe and we're the two who really get people through the hiring process. So if you need help um, screening, sourcing, interviewing, sending out um, assessments, let Chloe or I know, and we will help you with that. Really, anything that um, is included in employment. So, Brittany? Hi, everyone. I'm Brittany. Uh, so, I mostly focus on our data systems and data integrity to ensure that everything in all the different systems we have talks to one another the right way or that it's updated um, and making sure that it's accurate uh, for when we go through certain processes. Uh, in addition, I um, assist Abby in working with the benefits and payroll and our different entities and making sure that uh, we're up to date, that we're continuously iterating those and making them better or adjusting things where needed. Uh, same with our policies, developing different policies that you see in the handbook. So if you ever have a question on one of the policies, um, feel free to reach out to either of us uh, as to where it came from, the issue it related to, or what it means if it's not clear. Uh, and then also compensation is something I'm uh, focusing more into now. And then um, summit planning and visas. So if you ever need to go anywhere or have any questions, feel free to reach out at any time. Um, I am not an expert, but I can definitely find the answer or reach, send you to somebody who knows uh, everything. So as you can tell from all of our, we just wanted to quickly introduce ourselves if we haven't gotten to speak with you yet. Um, but if you ever have questions, feel free to ping at people ops team in Slack or send an email to people ops and we will get back to you within one business day. Uh, if you have a personal issue that you ever want to speak about, we are all here to talk to you at any time. So feel free to send us a message and email um, personally or to one of those different aliases. 
So we'd love to kind of segue next into this is kind of what we do overall and now into what we have accomplished over the last five weeks that we would love to share with you. Uh, the first thing that we've talked about a couple times in uh, the team call and some other forums is Tingly. So it's a rewards tool that we have. It is linked here from the presentation um, to reward people for uh, doing great things at GitLab. Some examples of why people have been awarded for bonuses, which was how we used to do it in the past, are, on, are in the handbook. And we you know, are very excited about peers recommending peers for doing great things, managers re recommending um, peers, et cetera. So uh, feel free to take a look at that. The other thing is we've used Tingly as a rewards tool for different challenges. So we had the marketing social media challenge that we had a couple winners. Um, and you know, this is definitely a tool we'd like to, for that, to use for that. So if you have a challenge or you'd like to recommend someone, please reach out. This is something we definitely want to use and uh, see how it works. It's very new. So if you have any recommendations, feel free to open an issue and assign it to me um, or somebody else on the People Ops team. Uh, based off of Tingly, we are very excited about our most valuable team member. The nominations for the month of July will be sent out on August 5th. And this is somebody who during the release cycle uh, really demonstrated the value that we're targeting for that month. So for the first month, we're going to be talking about specifically collaboration. So how did this person collaborate uh, within their team or within GitLab as a company to really accomplish a goal or one of their our objectives um, or key results? The next policy that we've released is tuition reimbursement. So uh, this is something that we haven't communicated all that well yet. We had a merge request and I think we put it in the team call, but we wanna make sure that you know it's there. Um, so the parameters and all of the information on how to uh, attend a certificate program, um, enter into you know, a college degree program, a grad school, anything like that, uh, all of that information is there. If it's not clear or you have further questions, again, please feel free to reach out, but we want to make sure that you were aware of it. And I would love to hand back over to Abby to talk about anti-harassment. Thank you, Brittany. Um, yes, yeah, so um, there is a link to a anti-harassment um, policy that was published uh, in the handbook, I believe it was two weeks ago now. Um, there is um, still further iterations on it to come, mainly to ensure that it's compliant with um, international uh, regulations, which I'm working on. Um, and there will also be some training, um, which I will announce uh, on the team on a team call from Grovo that I'm going to roll out to everybody. Um, but it is there. Please go and take a look at it. If there's anything, um, any questions that you have on it, please feel free uh, to ping me or email the people ops uh, email address. And the next one, I believe that was back to you, Brittany, where I could be wrong. Yeah, sure. So we want to continuously talk about and uh, let you know that we have a new policy on immigration to the Netherlands. So we want to incorporate this, um, you know, to all of our let all of our team members know and also incorporate this into hiring as kind of an employee brand item is that after two years of working at GitLab, uh, you can immigrate to the Netherlands. We are going to kind of outline this further in detail uh, about you know what the costs are associated but um, for now this is kind of our first iteration and you'll see more to come but we wanted again to just point out its existence in the handbook and direct you there and then our plans so far so for the first half of 2017 we're going to start um, our performance reviews so the cycle will open on monday july 1st this coming up monday and you'll have the entire month of august to complete your performance review both uh, a self-review and a manager review we wanted to get this out as soon as possible uh, to reflect on the first half of 2017 as you know we heard your feedback from the last performance review cycle we also opened the deadline um, a lot farther to you know let you know that there are uh, there's about a month to complete it instead of a couple weeks. If you need more time, feel free to reach out to us. This isn't directly attached to anything. So, you know, the, the merit review cycle that we had attached to performance in 2016 will not actually happen until 2018, once the full year is completed. But we still want to make sure that the performance reviews are submitted in time. If that's not possible, though, we want to work with you on that. Uh, also, we've revamped our questions to be more related to our values. So there's now 
uh, five, six questions about each of our values, and then two questions about leadership and development, uh, what you want to do next, all of these different things. So um, please take a look at that. The other thing we did was we heard that the, and, and we received your feedback that the five point rating scale did not feel intuitive. So we reached out to some contacts, uh, found some different documentation on alternatives, and we decided to go with a four point scale instead. Uh, we do not want to talk about it still in, in quantitative terms. So we have below expectations, meets expectations, uh, exceeded expectations, and greatly exceeded expectations. So those are how we will refer to them, um, but it has changed from five options to four. Uh, the next thing that we have worked on is our global compensation calculator. So I am still working on this now. It is coming this week. My first deliverable is to have um, the first iteration uh, of expanding geo areas done by July 31st and moved into the calculator. If you have any questions, please check out the issue that's attached in here. Uh, you'll also see what our plans are for the next iterations to follow until we, um, you know, we will always be iterating uh, as is per our GitLab workflow, but this is just the next couple steps we see until we receive market data and can really do some data analysis there. Uh, and then one of our next plans is our team call update. So, uh, you know, we've had a couple changes. We moved from having weekly updates to bi-weekly updates. And now, uh, you know, that can kind of feel a little disconnected. We don't want that to be the case. We want it to be uh, very interactive and, and for team members to want to join the team call. So uh, we're working through different options there. Please check out the issue as well. And then Sasha and Abby and I have been working on our parental leave policy. Uh, there is a associated merge request in with the issue. There's also uh, different statutory requirements that we have in each entity. So when you're reading the statutory requirements, uh, there was a little bit of confusion there when I posted my comment. I want to make sure that everyone knows that isn't what GitLab will offer. That's just what we must do. So in some places, the statutory requirement might be lower. In some places, it might be higher. So we want to make sure that we are legally um, doing what is uh, required of us in each place that we have an entity. But the policy itself has not officially been merged, but look out for that as it comes. And then Abby is working on our anti-harassment third iteration and training. And then I'll hand over to Chloe to talk about some of the next items that employment's been working on. Thanks. Um, so there is an issue for the wellness program that we're working on. Um, we're trying to figure out exactly what it will entail um, and how much we can really provide. Um, but I think either way, it's going to be really exciting. I'm really happy to be working on it. Um, so if you have any feedback, feel free to put it in the issue. Um, we're also looking to expand the people ops team. So we're looking for recruiters and a VP. Um, the job descriptions are linked there. So if you have any recommendations, please let us know. And then finally, we're always working to improve onboarding. Um, some examples I've included here is we are adding a inclusion training um, for all new team members. Um, we've recently implemented a automated coffee chat bot in Slack called Donut. Um, and we've done that for a few weeks now and it seems to be going really well. Um, and the plan is to have it for the whole company. Um, we're just trying to testing it out right now. Um, we're also just trying to make the onboarding issue uh, in general easier to digest and complete um, since it's you know meant to be completed within a week or two, um, and that isn't really happening very frequently. So we want it to be less overwhelming and easier to do. Um, and then finally, we would like to make it easier for new team members who aren't programmers and don't know how to code to learn how to code to be able to, to adopt, get better and easier, faster, things like that. Um, and then I will pass it on to Sasha. Okay, so everyone's probably heard me talk about Lever. We're getting a new applicant tracking system. Many of you probably haven't used Workable yet, which is our current applicant tracking system. Um, it leaves something to be desired. So we are moving to Lever and we're very excited about this move. Um, and most people on the team will have an account. So you'll be able to um, see all of the new features of Lever and everyone should be able to log in and um, submit referrals through Lever. So that is something that's coming soon. There will be a lever training for people who um, will be doing screening calls and interviews. There will be first a training for the admins and then followed by a training for everyone else on the team. Um, so please keep your eye open for those. Some things to look for with the lever implementation is that 
Um, we're going to be standardizing the interview questions. So you'll have forms pre-made for um, whichever interview stage you're at um, because we want to make sure we're reducing bias within the interview and evaluating all candidates fairly. There will be more permission levels uh, for better protection of candidate data. Right now, Workable um, only allows us to protect so much data, um, and, and it really leaves a lot of holes in security. Hiring managers, you'll like that in Lever you receive fewer notifications and you only follow the um, vacancies that you're actually working on. There will be automatic uh, follow-up reminders for hiring managers, so if you forget to move a candidate to the next stage, Lever automatically pings you maybe every single day on Slack to say, hey, you need to follow up. Um, and then there's a Slack integration. So that, those are all some things to look forward to in the new ATS, but like I said, it's coming soon, the training. So I just wanted to give you all, a, if you've been looking um, and working in Workable, now you'll see the difference here in Slack. Here's the interview stages that are laid out and each um, person will have their own screen uh, that looks like this with all of their active candidates. It will be a much cleaner um, and more streamlined interface. So this is just a quick preview of Lever. I also wanted to talk about some updates to interviewing and hiring. So obviously I have become a bottleneck in screening. So to reduce that bottleneck, we will start training more GitLabbers to do screening calls. Um, I will be asking hiring managers to nominate people on their team who are at the senior level or intermediate uh, moving to senior who they feel are ready to start conducting interviews. So we really wanna get GitLabbers involved in selecting their teammates. Um, Chloe has started hosting the, the questionnaire guides on GitLab. So that is a project that's available. You can actually go in there and see um, the assessments that we're sending out to candidates and how they should be answered. And then we're also establishing a standard interview process for all roles, hopefully condensing it and we'll be trying, when Lever gets implemented, we're going to try to schedule all interviews. So we'll schedule a screening call and we'll schedule all interviews in a bundle at the same time so that we improve the candidate speed um, in the hiring process. So that's everything for Lever and hiring. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of how things are going and changing because there will be a lot of changes soon once the new ATS comes out. There, there's been a lot of information. Are there any questions? If there are no outstanding questions, it looks like a lot of the questions have been addressed in chat. But if there are no addi additional questions, we can go ahead and end the meeting. Thank you all so much for joining the Functional Group Update.